starting this week, Franchise TV executive producer John Aguilar will dip his hands into buying and operating his own franchise business. He will be dealing with the franchisor, the mall, the contractors, service providers, and suppliers. He will also be conducting a market study and undergo training to be able to operate the franchise business. This is the real thing, so you can bet that it's guaranteed to be educational, informative, and exciting at the same time. It is the first reality franchise business series on Philippine television. Jump-starting his quest, John would have to know about the franchisor's viability, business concept, history of success and development, its values, mission, and vision, its relationship with franchisee partners, and other factors that spell longevity and success in a very competitive environment. As a franchisee, he must exhaust all means to know as much as he can, very much like how marriage partners get to know each other before saying their vows. Binalot is something that I enjoy eating. You know, it's uh, good old Filipino food, and it comes in uh, an eco-friendly banana leaf. So, you know, I've always believed that, you know, if you're going to get into a business, it has to be something that you appreciate and uh, you genuinely like. And in this case, um, I really like Pinalot, so it makes sense. The best person to talk to when you want to be part of the business is the franchise owner. After all, as a franchisee, John will have an important stake in this exciting enterprise. Hi, Ramel. Hi, John. Kamusta, kamusta? Very good. Nice to see you. So, Ramel, well, I'm here because um, I'm, I'm thinking of getting a Binalot franchise. But I'd like to hear from your words. What makes Binalot so unique? Of course, Binalot is a uh, Filipino food. No? So, yeah. pagkain natin, all-time Pinoy burrits. Mm -hmm. So, basically, that's the really the unique selling proposition. Our food is yung mga comfort food ng Pinoy, wrapped in the traditional way and served the fast food way. Convinced ako with the product. And, and what you're doing with a company. But I'd like to know, how successful have your franchisees been so far? Uh, we know na successful yung mga franchisee natin kasi meron na sa kanilang mga nag-renew ng mga franchise nila. Marami na. Marami na. Oh. No? And uh, also, uh, meron na mga nag-multi-franchise. So, uh, before even the franchise term uh, ends, nag open na sila ng uh, second uh, franchise store nila. Uh, the investment of Binalot is one of the strong points of Binalot talaga, no? Kasi we're not ha as high as uh, the others, no? With Binalot, it's only 2 to 2.5 million. Okay. Kasi ang area natin mas maliit. You only need 45 to 90 square meters on the average. Pero yung payback period is the same. Okay. So, ang payback period natin is also two, two and a half to three years. Bawi ka na. And since the franchise term is six years, you still have three more years to, to earn and make profit. Right. And if I have a perspective location, can you help me um, assess the viability of that location? Yes. Actually, uh, we've uh, put it down to a science already. Uh, meron kaming mag assess ng lugar to do the traffic count, mm -hmm. and we will do a market study to study the market in the area. That sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> so again, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. As a franchisee, you will be oriented and trained and will even be asked to do a market study. Ano ba yung next steps after the umbaga, meet and greet with the franchise owner? The next step is a profiling test. A profiling test actually it's a step now we're doing to the franchise applicant because we want to make sure also na in line kumbaga sa aming direction sa binalot yung aming makukuhang um, partner. It's going to be a husband and wife relationship for six years so it's, we just want to make sure na parang um, okay sila. After the profiling test po, the franchisee will of course send the vicinity map of the proposed location. They will conduct a market research. After the market research po, we will, we will go to the place naman, we will validate the market research submitted by the franchisee. After the market research po, awarding na po ng place send. So if the franchisor approves for the location, kasi honestly right now, ma'am, we're very keen on choosing a location. We want to make sure that it's going to be a profitable, a viable, and a feasible one. After the market research po, we will proceed with the memorandum of agreement signings. And that means you're in it for six years? Yes. What about training? Pasok na ba yung training after the site's approved or before? After the most sign, you proceed with the training. 14 days training for your kitchen crew, 21 days training for your supervisor kasi siya yung magpapatakulang tindahan. So, kailangan longer training for him or her. 
And of course, for the franchise, we did the five days training. For the five days training, the first day done about the service group, na man, eh, yung marketing, finance. Second day, that's operations training on how to run the kitchen na, and how to run the business. Na. And the third day, the franchisees, sila mismo hands on the store namin. Sila na magluto, sila na magbabalot, they will teach you to, 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 to do a binalot. And for a good franchisee on training, equally important is the next step. The construction phase. Pag nakapirma ka na po ng kontrata, we will proceed with the construction na. So the first step for the construction actually is a pre-construction meeting with the lessor, because we really have to we really have to identify what are the guidelines of the certain location. These are just some of the fast facts in a franchise business venture. Information is important. Franchise packages, franchise fee inclusions, procedures, or turnkey arrangements. It's interesting to note that as a Binalot franchisee, you can avail of the corporation's Company Supervision Scheme or CSS. It's a service that Binalot provides for its franchisees where they oversee the operation of the store. This is applicable for busy franchisees such as lawyers and doctors, or in John's case, a television producer. Visit www.binalot.com to supplement your growing interest in a Binalot franchise. Also, find out what's in store for next week's episode as we take you through every step of the way of acquiring your own franchise business.